Am I? I don't know where you So welcome back. Now we're going to move on to our third exercise. What's this one? So the third exercise is really important about bringing yourself into the present moment. Our busy minds are constantly thinking or worrying about the future or reliving and regretting the past. It's completely normal and happens to all of us. But what can really help you to refocus is by bringing yourself back into the present moment. As always, pause and stop whatever you're doing and make sure that you're comfortable. So to start this exercise, I really want you to feel your feet firmly on the ground or your back against the chair. Focus on what this feels like and bring yourself into the present. We're now going to take a few deep breaths into the count of four. So let's breathe in. Two, three, four. And breathing out. Two, three, four. And breathing in. Two, three, four. And breathing out. Two, three, four. Now I want you to notice your hands. If your fists are clenched, then let them go and let your hands relax. Let's take another deep breath in. Breathing in, two, three, four. Breathing out, two, three, four. Now I want you to notice your shoulders. We hold a lot of tension in our shoulders. So let's breathe in, two, three, four. Now allow your shoulders to drop down away from your ears as you breathe out. Two, three, four. So with your last deep breath, gently stretch, reaching towards the ceiling and yawn as if you have just woken up. <laughs> Lastly, shake your hands as if you're shaking water off of them to release any last bits of tension. Focus on how you're feeling. What was that like for you? <laughs> <laughs> um, it was really good at reminding me that there's so much tension all over the body sometimes that you're not even aware of. When you mentioned the shoulders, I went, oh my God, they're all the way up my, at my ears. <laughs> so it was very good at making you only focus on your own physical body rather than the things happening outside. Definitely, and as you said, I think we can often hold tension in our body, which we may not even know is there. So I think it really helps to kind of bring that tension out. So when are good times to use these techniques? Um, so definitely in the morning and e in the evening. And that's because you can really start your day off well by kind of focusing on yourself in the morning and again, winding down when you're focusing yourself in the evening. And what other things can you do on a daily basis to help yourself feel calm? One of the first things you could do is actually going to bed early. I know that sounds really boring, but it can really help you to feel like you can manage your stress a lot easier. The next thing is you could practice some energizing stretches and you can do that by setting your alarm 15 minutes earlier. Also making sure that you have time for breakfast and leaving yourself plenty of time before school, college or work in the morning. Another thing you could do is appreciate what you do have. So you could find three things which you're really grateful for. It can be anything from your friends and family all the way to just being happy that it didn't rain today. But it's really important to kind of think about your surroundings and what's around you and find things which you are grateful for. And the last and final tip is that Childline is always here for you. We're always here to pick up your calls or chats and we're here if you want to go through these techniques a bit more in detail or whether you're just a bit stuck and want someone to talk about, we're always here to listen. And remember, you can re-watch these videos as many times as you like and you can use them as a guide to help you with those techniques. So thanks for coming. No, thank you so much for having me. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>